I'll give this push-up bra one thing. It is catching my snacks. And so I have some snacks for later. I hate bras, particularly push-up bras. Ever since I was little, having to wear bras was always a pain. I never really understood why you had to wear bras growing up. I've just never liked the restricting feeling. Bras are just uncomfortable. So I'll wear like a sports bra, a bralette, a bandeau. I think society has been wrapped around its hands when it comes to not wearing bras. And as a plus size shopper, you really don't have a lot of great options because you either have good cups, good bra that supports you on the side, or a bra that supports your back fat. I wanted to sign up for this challenge because it's very much out of my comfort zone. Ultimately this week, I think that the push-up bra is gonna make my clothes fit really weird. It's gonna be a little different for everyone involved. My expectations for the week are going to be that I will wear it for a few hours and then call it quits. I'm really gonna try and wear it for the whole day, but let's see what happens. This is the size of my head. This makes my boobs look like they're awfully large. They don't look bad. Not really a style that I'm used to. I forgot how big my cups were. These literally look like cereal bowls. And it has a lot of thick padding in there. Can you see how thick that is? The lace kind of looks like old timey to me personally. We've got a little bow. Fun fact, I hate bows. The bag looks nice and supporting. Let's just get this over with and let's show you what it looks like on. I just put on my first bra and it actually feels good. This is a 38C cup. It has black lace. I think that's really cute. I do feel a little bit of tightness on the sides. A plus size girls, this bra is good and comfortable. I love this little detail. My nipples went up and my credit score went up. Everything went up. Okay, so I just put this bra on. I feel like I have two cannons on my chest right now. Not into it so far. I mean, it's comfortable. So far, it's not cutting into like my side. Having my bra does not hit my knees. Feels like a special occasion. So here's the look for today. I have shoes on in my house. I might go outside and gave myself a bacon egg and cheese from the bodega as a true New Yorker. So I'm actually running errands right now. And to be honest, the bra's a tinge itchy, but that's all I can really say about it right now. It just feels weird. I've just been doing a lot of different things today. I'm tired of it. Honestly, I really just cannot wait to get in the house and just sling it off. This is not a bra that I probably personally would wear 24 seven. It's 5 p.m. you guys, the sun is down. That means my boobs are coming down too. Goodbye, hunkers. I've just been sitting at my desk kind of getting things done for the day, um, taking off my makeup, even just like sitting down to have like the underwire, like dig into, I mean, I mean that might just be a posture issue, but like it's just not comfortable to wear this. Take this as you will, but the little cushion push-up situation going on inside the bra has done great for my boob sweat. So <laughs> thank you for that. Good morning. This is day two. This is the bra I'm gonna be wearing today. It's different than the one I wore yesterday. So I think support wise, it's gonna be pretty good, but there's a lot of padding in here. I can't wait to be working at home and having those boobies popping. So this is the bra, this one is from Amazon and it has this little jewel, which is kind of cute. It's a lace situation. But what I really like is that it came with its own extender. Wearing a turtleneck was the original idea, but it felt like I was hiding something that needed to be shown off. And that's why I'm wearing this deep V sweater. Honestly, this one looks much cuter on, but also it's a little bit more comfortable and it actually holds more of my cleavage. So today I'm going to the gym. So we have to work out with this bra on. So hopefully it won't irritate me. When I first got boobs, I think I was like, oh baby, let me show him. A little cleave moment. So my brother came over so that I can take his photos like for the gram. And um, <laughs> as soon as I was gonna go downstairs, I realized that my boobs were so out and about. Like even though throughout the day, I've been looking at my reflection and feeling very confident. And like the moment there was someone else, I was like, hold on. I do feel a little bit exposed, but I do like what I see. I just got back from the gym still had the bra on. I just took a shower and freshened up and I put it back on. There was nobody in the gym but me, so I had nobody that was watching or criticizing. I could feel like my boobs slipping out my bra every so often. This bra isn't as tight as the other one. It had more hooks in the back, so you could adjust the sizing. I have no real, real complaints. So we're on a rock right now, and I'm realizing I'm just like constantly readjusting my bra and I wouldn't normally wear this kind of bra on a walk. Obviously I would wear like a sports bra. It's going to be 6 p.m. now and 
I just had my therapy call. I really kept just like sitting up straight because it was literally cutting into my under boob into my rib cage. Why would you have to wear a push up bra for longer than like a couple hours if you're not flirting? I'm getting like little red marks on the side of my boob, which isn't so comfy. And I think that's just from like the bra chafing me a little bit. Throughout the day, I didn't really notice anything going wrong with the bra, but like as I take it off, it's like a sigh of relief. They do look bigger in this sweatshirt. Like this is not me like poking out. Like this is literally me just standing up holding the camera. I'm in for the rest of the night. This bra is starting to hurt a little bit as well. So we'll see what the other bra is looking like tomorrow for day three. Okay, so this is day three. I realized that because I feel so constricted, I realized that the rest of my body needs to be extra comfortable. So I'm wearing literally stretchy pants, stretchy top, my most comfortable booties. And I couldn't even bother with my hair today. So I put on this hat, which I think works with the look. Today I have on the white one and it's already kind of like bugging me. I'm just gonna try to push through it. I really don't have much to do today. I'm gonna be at home lounging and chilling. So I guess today's a test to see how it is as a lounging bra. I feel like I'm avoiding getting out of bed because I know I need <laughs> to wear this bra all day. I don't wanna put it on. I'll give this push-up bra one thing. It it is catching my snacks and so I have some snacks for later. I think I thought that people would be looking at my chest more than they actually were. Like this isn't crazy. For me, it's a lot. And I think it's interesting that I'm more confident without a bra or in a bralette. I'm about to get ready for bed, still have the bra on. It hasn't really annoyed me that much today, but it is pinching my side a little bit. I just realized that this is the first time my girlfriend is seeing me with a push-up bra because I haven't really worn bras in a while. <laughs> what do you think? It's a plus for me. <laughs> It is the end of day three. I will say I'm not super uncomfortable during the day, aside from the fact that it makes my clothes tighter. It's just an extra layer. The underwire is not my friend. Everything's just tighter. It's day four of wearing a push-up bra for a week. This is a dress that I haven't worn in a while. Started to get a little loose around the boob area, but now that I have this push-up bra, it works out perfectly. I have on a plain t-shirt. I'm really just lounging and chilling around the house. I don't like the fact that it makes me look top heavy, especially like in plain t-shirts. I love my small chest. I'm forever grateful for it. I'm not a fan of big boobs on myself. Well, I'm about to go on a walk with a full padded push-up bra and a full face of makeup. So, you know, things are weird this week. I did put a sweatshirt on so that no one's looking at the girls. I have to mention that as I was walking around, the thing that was in the back of my head was that I didn't feel comfortable in my body. And I know this sounds really dramatic for a push-up bra. I have been working so hard to feel comfortable in my own skin and the way my body is. It looks like I have double Ds when I don't. So it almost felt like I was presenting myself in a way that was not me. What I will say about going on walks with this bra on is that I do feel like super supported. They're locked in there. I only have two more days to go with my push-up bras. I think I've kind of gotten used to it as I've been wearing them throughout the week. So it hasn't really been bothering me much. Today is actually one of those days where I just want to wear a t-shirt, some sweatpants, and call it a day. I can feel my most comfortable, obviously, because I'm being held up by like two balloons. Big boobs comes big responsibilities, and I don't want it today. I just want to relax. I'm keeping my pajamas on today, and if that means that I have to wear the bra under my pajamas, I'm doing that. I'm about to get ready for bed. Complaints really, um, just a little bit of pinching on the side, but that's something that's been constant throughout the whole week with all three bras. I really haven't done much because I've been trying to take care of my injury, my lower back injury. I'm not feeling really well today, so I'm gonna call the quits really, really early. I think it's 3 p.m. I did sleep in so that I didn't have to put on the bra and I've only had it for probably three, five hours tops. It's not happening, sorry. I have retired for the evening. I have my glass of wine. I have eaten dinner and this bra is digging into my chest this would be a 10 out of 10 night if it wasn't for this damn push-up bra it is day six i ran to the doctor's appointment that i had scheduled for today but all the clinics are closed but no one told me and i was all like boobs out because as a plus size person you really do need to like advocate for yourself because you tend to be ignored and everything is constantly made out of to be because of your weight like i'll go in for pink eye and then be like oh it's because you're fat nothing like wearing a push-up bra 
with a t-shirt, am I right? Normally on a weekend, I'd probably be couch ridden all day except for working out and taking a walk. I'm so over wearing this push-up bra. It feels like I'm overdressed all the time for no reason. So I went to my friend's house. She couldn't even tell that I had on a push-up bra. I guess I might just have small boobs in general, but the bra itself isn't, you know, that bad now. I will give it the fact that it does catch my under boob sweat. It is day seven and the last day of wearing a push-up bra for an entire week and I cannot be happier. I am so over wearing this push-up bra. They've been lovely. One of them was a little painful, but overall this was fun, but I'm glad it's, it's coming to its end. You can definitely see it. My boobs poking out a little bit more than normal in my t-shirts. I have two of these black bras. There's been a trend going around where people cut out the padding of their bras and it just leaves like the lacy layer. I'm gonna cut. I managed to find a middle point of not feeling exposed because I do have a push-up bra, dressing to my comfort. I definitely didn't even think about taking off the bra once. Before, after. If anything, it inspired me. I was inspired by the push-up bra. I really think that having a push-up bra for a week forced me to perform femininity in a way that I haven't done in such a long time because of being in quarantine. And I was doing it mostly for myself and that was cool, but I feel like I, a lot of the times, I just wanted to take it off and not have perky boobs. I did learn that there's a time and a place for a push-up bra. For me, that may be once in a blue moon, but the support you get with a push-up bra is not the kind of support that I'm getting from day to day. So I need to find a happy medium of support. The journey wasn't that bad as I thought, being for someone who doesn't really like to wear um, push-up bras. I'm so excited to cut the cushion out of most of my bras that I own.